What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, caps to side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. I received a couple channel messages in, so I'm going to do it. Hope everybody's doing well. Just saying. Okay. Oh, by the way, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,075 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. It helps support a single mama's one of her income streams. So thanks so much. I appreciate the love and support. Okay, so it's actually a great one. Um, the channel message I received was someone's a subscriber. I uh, heard a tarot card reader, a uh, feminine tarot card reader. Someone's subscriber on a, a feminine tarot card reader, um, highly affluent subscriber. And I heard that specific specifically. So it's a highly affluent subscriber of this fem tarot card reader. I heard they are about to um, share her channel very, very, very publicly. It's going to create many positive series of chain events for her. It's going to make her business go up in a huge way. That's the first one. So um, that's beautiful. So whoever that's for, I mean, there's lots of us fem tarot card readers, light side spiritualists, psychic mediums, psychic investigators, whatever you call yourself, however it resonates in the universe. There's tons of us. Um, you know, the term psychic investigator hasn't wasn't even really a term uh, or a thing until about a year, year and a half, two years ago. Um, but it is now. So, I mean, however you deem yourself, you're a light side spiritualist, whoever you are and how you apply in the universe. But you have a very highly affluent. Now, I don't know if they're masculine or feminine. You plug it in how it resonates. But one of you guys, now, I don't know if you have 5,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, 20,000 subscribers, 200,000 subscribers. I'm not sure. I didn't hear that spe that specifics in here in the in the channel, but whether you have five subscribers, five thousand subscribers, ten thousand subscribers, twenty, two hundred thousand, what have you, somebody has a very highly affluent um, person, masculine or feminine, subscribe to their channel. I'll tell you that for sure, for sure. They're either I, I heard of subscribers, so they are actually subscribed. Um, to your channel. I don't think they just come and view every now and then. I think they're actually subscribed. They get your posts, your updates, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that's what I'm feeling because I heard subscriber. Um, but I heard they're about to create positive series of chain events for you. They're highly affluent, so I think they're connected to a lot of highly affluent people. Is what I think. I think they're connected to a lot of highly affluent people. They obviously really love your channel so much so that they subscribe to it. And whoever this is, this isn't like a catfisher. Because, you know, there's negative karmic energies. We all have them on our channel. Negative karmic energies that subscribe to try to cause grief, pain, and sorrow. And that's just the damn truth. We all have them. I don't care if you have five subscribers, 5,000, 10, 20, 200K. Um, we all have them. And that's just the truth. For real, for real. But whoever this is, they're light side. They're not karmic energy to you. They are light side. And um, they are connected to a lot of, I feel, a lot of other highly affluent people. Whoever they are and how they apply in the universe, they can be masculine or feminine. Whoever they are, I didn't hear uh, gender on them. So, um, but they're about to share your channel very publicly. Um, so I don't know if this is word of mouth, if it's social media, or if it's both. They really love your channel. They love your work. And... It's about to create positive series of chain events for you. Fem, light side spiritualist, tarot card reader, um, possibly psychic investigator, psychic medium, what have you. Um, however that resonates, it's really freaking, it's amazeballs is what it is. Hashtag amazeballs. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, I heard it's going to make your business go up in a huge way. So, you know, anybody that has a reading uh, channel on YouTube and you have a thousand plus subscribers you have a business and that's just the truth <laughs> that's hashtag facts if you have a thousand subscribers on youtube i don't care if you're a reader or you do anything else on youtube and you have one thousand or plus subscribers you have to have a business and that's just truth that's just truth 
I don't care if you have one channel, 10 channels, one business, 10 businesses, what have you, or work a full-time job and five side hustles on the, on the side. If you have a channel on YouTube and you have a thousand subscribers or a thousand plus subscribers, you have a business and that's just the truth. So I heard it's going to make your business go up in a huge way. So congrats to you, whoever you are, just saying, I love the entrepreneurial, entre, entrepreneurial spirit. Just saying, just saying, entrepreneurial spirit. I love it. I love it. I love it. I do. I do. I do. So whoever you are, um, however this applies. And I got one more, so I'm going to share that one too. Um, let me think about it. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Oh my God, I forgot it. I had a brain fart. I forgot it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Okay. I heard the energy is about to completely shift and it's about to um, make your business explode in a very positive way. It took me a minute. I'm sorry. I heard the energy is about to completely shift and it's about to make your business explode in a very positive way. So congratulations, ma'am, whoever you are, light side spiritualist in the universe. Uh, one of your subscribers really loves your work. I'm just being for real. They really love your work. Um, I don't feel they're trying to manipulate you. Um, they're about to help you out. I don't feel they're trying to manipulate you or use you or abuse you, uh, whoever this is for. And I know we have a lot of people in the universe like that. They try to manipulate, use, and abuse people. And they do. Some people do are successful in manipulating, using, and abusing people. And that's just the truth. Um, but whoever this is, this person, subscriber about to share your channel, either social media, word of mouth, or both, I don't feel they're trying to manipulate, use, or abuse you. And I'm just being serious about that. I, I'm serious. I, I'm so serious about that. I feel lots of positive energy here. They really, I feel they really love your work and I'm serious. I'm going to pull one card. Let me see if I hear anything else. A particular feminine tarot card reader, spiritualist, channel that has been booming recently the channel is about to go down in a huge way many of her subscribers are about to get a huge 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 wake up call huge oh my lord well okay so it's like yin and yang so we have you positive light side spiritualist your business is about to go up but you have a subscriber that is about to help it go up whoever you are we have another Fem Tarot card reader spiritualist. I heard spiritualist, so I don't know if they dabble in the dark arts or the light arts or they are a mixture. I'm not sure. But I heard their business has been booming recently. So, I mean, I feel they probably read on YouTube, but they, they don't have to. But they are definitely feeling social media platform energy. For sure, for sure. I heard their business has been booming recently. I heard it's about to go down in a huge way because people are about to get huge wake-up calls. So they're about to get a huge wake up call about this Fem Tarot Card Readers. I'm feeling public platform, possibly YouTube. It could be another social media platform. But I heard it's about to tank. It's about to tank down um, because it sounds like a lot of her clientele, subscribers, um, people that have been watching her in some shape, form, or fashion through her business um, is about to get a huge wake up call about something whatever that is and however it applies so that business is about to go down i think people are about to stray away from her or they're about to tell other people about their huge wake-up call and it is about to make the business plummet however that resonates however that resonates spirit messages you have to collect it autumn reverse so that's springtime that's now and manifestation reversed spell manifestation so springtime, I feel this is about to, I heard it's about to happen. Both of these are about to happen. It hasn't happened yet. It's about to. But the opposite of autumn is spring. We're in spring right now. So it's about to, ha it's about to happen soon. 
in the springtime, which is now. Now the end of spring is, I know we're in the spring now, but let me uh, actually figure out when the end, end of spring is. By the way, the tax day for United States for 2022 is actually April 18th this year. For um, anybody that doesn't know that, um, just to let everybody know. June 21st, 2022 is the end of spring. The beginning of spring was March 20th of 2022. We're full on into spring now. It's April 8th, 2022. So the end of spring is June 21st, 2022. So it's going to, I'm feeling it's going to happen from now to June 21st um, is what I'm feeling because the end of spring is June 21st. We have autumn reversed. So I feel these two situations, the business, light side spiritualist business about to tank up in a very positive way. I feel that's going to happen in springtime now. Anywhere from now until June 21st of 2022. And same for the other one, uh, other possible dark side, maybe a mixture of both, or maybe not dark side. I don't know. Um, female tarot card reader, where people, um, it sounds like one particular person's in the huge ass wake up call, and I feel they might spread it to other people, which is going to create a domino effect and make kind of like this one except this one in a positive way where it's going to get it out, get it out, get it out, and spread it in a positive domino like effect. This one's going get to it, get it out, get it out, get it out, spread it in a negative domino like effect. But both of these situations, I feel, is going, going to occur from anywhere from April 8, 2022 to June 21st of 2022 is what I'm feeling because we have autumn reversed. So you plug it in how it resonates, and then we have spell manifestation reverse. Someone created a new jar. Spell jar. This time it's about to explode and someone's about to get cut on the glass. And other negative series of chain events are about to ex uh, occur with this. It's about to explode in a way this person never expected. Oh my good God, you plug it in. Whoa, dear God. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so we have jar energy again in here. Um, Oh my God. Okay, so for anybody who doesn't know, I have some new subscribers uh, recently. Um, so you may not know, but if you don't know about the name in the jar energy, that's very real. And dark side people use it all the damn time. And that's just the truth. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can Google name in a jar or you can go back to my readings. Um, I think it was like a month ago or two months ago or something like that, where somebody had somebody's name in a jar. You only put somebody's name in a jar for negative dark side purposes. And that's just the damn truth. I heard somebody put somebody's name in a jar again. So they had somebody's name in a jar previously. Um, whoever this is, I feel they're obviously, they practice on the dark side. So spell reverse in this situation. Um, this is not, at, well, I feel, it's, I feel it can go a couple of different ways. The first way is the spell is about to be broken. The dark side spell. Um, of somebody putting somebody's name in a jar for evil, evil, negative, dark side purposes, basically. It's about to be broken. It's about, I heard it's about to explode. Explode. Now, I heard explode in a way whoever in the hell did this would never expect. So somehow this jar is about to explode. The, it sounds like they've done it to you in the past. Whoever this is for, they put your name in a jar in the past. They, but something happened to the jar in some shape, form, or fashion, I'm presuming, or they took your name out of the jar. Um, hell, I don't know. I never put anybody's name in a jar. But some, somehow something happened to the jar. The original jar is what it sounds like. But they've done it again. They've done it again, apparently. But this time, I heard the jar is about to explode. 
explode. And I heard explode in a way they never expected. Um, and so much so they're going to, uh, either them or somebody they're connected to is about to cut their finger on the, it sounds like the evil hexy, cursy, hersey jar trying to clean it up is what I'm presuming. So it's either them or somebody they're connected to is about to cut their finger um, on this jar. I would want to be anywhere near this damn jar. Um, and I'm just serious. But somebody, I mean, when it explodes, it has to be cleaned up. So I don't know if it's the person that created the jar is about to clean this, uh, to attempt to clean it up and cut their finger or somebody they're connected to. But the thing is, is they've got hearses and hexes and all kinds of crazy, nasty, dark arts, uh, voodoo and hoodoo and shit on it. Um, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that damn jar. So in this situation, it's spell reversed. The hexing, hexing, cursing of the damn jar. They had your name in a jar previously. This is jar, at least jar number two. For some, it could be jar two plus in the universe. They're about, somebody's about to put their finger on it, whether it's them or somebody else trying to clean up the damn jar, and it's going to create negative series of chain of events. So this is the jar exploding. I'm feeling the spell reversed, the jar exploding, and the cut finger and the other negative series of chain of events that's going to occur because they put your ass in a jar again, again. Um, so they cannot manifest it. They, it sounds like in the past, they could manifest it, but so, I think you're too high in the spiritual realm, whoever you are over here. I think you're too high in the spiritual realm. And for some of you guys, it could be this person that puts your name in a jar again. I'm strongly feeling it might be because we're pulling these two people for a specific reason. So I'm feeling for whoever this is resonating with, if it does resonate with you, I'm feeling this person put your name in a jar again. Again. You guys, freaking again. Um, there's a reason I'm pulling both these people in. Just saying, just saying. Um, wow, they do not want you to manifest, but it's about to boomerang, energetically boomerang back on their ass in the form of a cut finger, either for them or somebody they're connected to and probably another negative series of chain events. Um, maybe the cut finger is so bad they have to go get stitches or may, I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear that specifically. But they don't want you to manifest. They don't want you to manifest. They don't want you to grow. They're jelly of you probably. But their name in a jar energy is about to boomerang back on their... I think it's this person. I think it's this person. Heard their business has been booming re um, recently. And it's about to go down. And some kind of name in a jar energy. Whether it's this person or somebody else. I strongly feel it's this person. And it's happening now, man. Or about, uh, not happening now, but happening in the springtime. So happening soon. I'm feeling before Janu uh, June 21st of 2022. This, woo-wee. Someone in a wheelchair is very significant in one of these people's lives. Know this. Oh my God. So you plug it in. How, well, oh my goodness. That's the, that is so specific. So you plug it in how it resonates. Someone in a wheelchair is very specific, uh, is very significant in one of these people's lives. You plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Someone in a wheelchair. The, to me, that could go positive or negative. Whoever this person in a wheelchair is, significant to one, I'm thinking at least one of these people's lives. Somebody in a wheelchair is significant to at least one of these people. However that plugs in and, and resonates in your life, we actually have three people in here, actually. We have these two scenarios I, brought, um, I pulled in. And then we have the uh, light side subscriber of this person about to create positive series of chain of events for them. So we actually have three. We actually have three people I'm pulling in today. So um, someone in a wheelchair is very significant to at least one of these three people in the universe. However that plugs in, 
the person in the wheelchair could be positive or negative, I'm feeling. But somebody in a wheelchair is significant to at least one of these three people in the universe. However that plugs in. Okay. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices and I'm going to stay.